Hey guys, guys. thanks for tuning into the Mod Twins. I'm Mila and I'm Nero. So for today's video, we thought we'd come on here and do a 25 facts about us. So we have a few new subscribers, so we thought this would be a really good chance to kind of get to know them more on a personal level and for you guys to know us as well. Um, and as you can see, we don't have makeup on except for lipstick. So um, <laughs> we're also going to be doing our makeup. So it's like a get ready with me. Kind of chit chat. Slash, get ready with chit chat. Yeah. Like you know. Also, hi to all our new subscribers. Thank yeah. you so much for subscribing, guys. It means the world to us. So stay tuned for all our wedding festivities. We got yeah. a lot of content coming. Gender up, reveals. Honestly. There's yeah. so much coming. There's up, so much. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're gonna get started. The yeah. first question I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. So, what's our whole name? So, I guess I'll go first. Yeah. Um, so my whole name is Niroshika, so a lot of people just think it's Nero, but it's actually N-I-R-O-S-H-I-C-A, but Nero is like short form, basically. So my name is Nalakshika, even longer, <laughs> N-I-L-A-C-K-S-H-I-C-A. Yeah, I know, my parents didn't leave any alphabet, like yeah. a letter out. Guys, yeah. you know what the worst part is? It's like, you know when you go oh to my God, like, write your name I don't even have a mirror. B R B. You will grab your mirror. It's funny, please grab Okay guys, so we're back. Mila got her mirror um, and I'm just putting primer on. So, um, what was the question? What's her whole name? Yeah. yeah. So we have pretty long names because um, I, I guess like in our culture, like people relatively have long names, I guess. Yeah, it's very common names. for people to have like more than five, six letters in their names. It's just a thing. And it has to match like this numerology stuff as you guys probably know. So that's why it's so long. You want to do a question for me too? Sure. Did anyone name you? Yes. Uh, we are both named after my Uncle. dad's brother, older brother. Um, so he really wanted to name us. And as you guys know, my dad is Hindu, my mom's Catholic. So um, since we were baptized and stuff like that, which is more like the Catholic tradition, our names are more on the Hindu side. Just to give you know both sides a little a compromise. Balance, yeah, yeah, a balance. compromise between the two cultures. Exactly. And I really like my name. Like I, yeah. I usually go by Nila or Nero, but yeah. Yeah, we really also like our whole names. But yeah. to be honest, nobody in our life actually calls us by our whole names. That's yeah. the funny thing. Yeah. But um, okay, let's go to number three. What does your name mean? So I guess I'll start this time. So my whole name means, I believe, Blue Moon. I've looked it up oh, before. Blue Moon? It's not yeah. Blue Moon. I'm pretty sure, honestly, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Blue Moon. I know my uh, four letter nickname, Mila, means Moon in Tamil. Um, so a lot of people know that, but I'm pretty sure it's Blue Moon. Nero's name, Naroshka, means princess. Is it actually? I do not know your whole name means. means. Does yeah. Naroshka mean? Um, wow, the spell check is Hiroshima, but nice. Uh, according to blah blah blah, the name Nero is a Persian and means gift of God. Yeah, and then in really? some other like yeah, okay, and so then in some languages I mean gift of God, and somewhere else in another language um it meant uh, princess. Oh wow, okay, yeah. I didn't even know that. I didn't know there was a meaning behind my name, so that's that's cool. <laughs> uh, to go on to question four, what do you like most about your sister brother? So as you guys know, we're twins. We have each other, and then we have a. A brother that's uh, three years older to us. So, so we're 23, he's 26. So once, I guess, we'll name Narosh as first. So what do we each like about Narosh? Um, I think for me, um, and I don't get spiced when you see this, but uh, for me, I think it's that uh, he never really um, gives up on his goals. Like he aims really high. And yeah. I guess some people would even see his dreams as like unrealistic, but he goes hard or goes home and he does anything um, in life to achieve those goals. So I think just his perseverance is crazy. Like his drive to get what he wants it's is really crazy. admirable. So yeah, no, I agree. I was gonna say the exact same thing. <laughs> um, he's very like ambitious. Like he'd always like talk about his goals, and he's like, I mean, that whole idea of like manifesting your goals and like talking about it a lot. Like he does that a lot with us, and like always encourages us to like aim higher, like keep going with YouTube, yeah. like keep going. Like even when we like you know always like, oh, I don't know if this like will do well, and like I don't know if we want to keep doing this for a long time like always be like no you guys are doing great like keep going like keep shooting high and stuff and like keep going like academically and like through YouTube like you guys will be fine so yeah just like his um whole like courage to go high and also like his perseverance to go high I would say yeah and then I guess it's siblings right so what do we oh yeah about just, I forgot about Nero okay. <laughs> um I think Nero uh the thing that I like the most about her is that I don't know I don't know how to put this but like she reacts well to situations like um. How do I say? <laughs> she reacts well. 
like <laughs> like she's just like like you know calm. 23 but she knows how to be silent and calm and just she doesn't give attention to things that really don't need attention if you get what i mean so she's really good at keeping calm collected and handling this any situation that like life throws at her in a very mature way and she's really good at separating like impulsive thinking with logical thinking and emotion versus not emotion something that i need to work more on but <laughs> i'm sure she would say the same but yeah i think that's it like she just she's her reaction and her like actions are really like I don't know, something that you can like <laughs> okay, okay, but Yeah, it's just not like, coming out the right way, but mm -hmm. you get what I mean. Yeah, she's very mature. Yeah. I would say, um, Mila's, I like how she's she's always down to like enjoy. Like I feel like I don't really have a balance. Like I'm very like work, 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 work. But like I feel like having Mila is helpful, like with like the YouTube channel and like in life in general. Like she's like she's she wants to enjoy it, you know, and like I'm not very good at doing that, I feel. Yeah. Not all the no, time. So like having somebody that's like a balance and like no like And like I obviously drag her everywhere I go. Yeah, like, and she like drags me to all her like maps and stuff. And I think we always have conversations things. about like, you know it's great to be having that balance. Yeah, it's great to do your work, obviously be a career focused and you know, study really hard, that's very important, but it's also as important to like, you know, have fun, to take, take a memories, break, to like, take, take a break. mental break, take yeah, a physical exactly. break. Yeah. And like, yeah, I guess she, and she's like really really nice like I feel like in her videos <laughs> people are like oh like she's the sassier twin and I think you like at a time you definitely were yeah um like I guess known as the newer one or like the most the more serious rebellious twin yeah the rebel. I think she's more of the rebel still but like she's way like like she'll put up with people like you know she always like she's nice no matter how she feels but like I'm more like I'm kind of at that we point we kind of switched spots yeah I think we did like I, I used to be like that I used to just be quiet and like not talk up or like you know not like stand, stand up for what she believes stand up for what I believe in exactly but like I feel like we kind of switch spots now and she's more like kind of like puts up with stuff and I'm more like okay like I know like it's either white or black like there's no gray you know like yeah. if I feel some type of way I will stick up for myself type thing so I feel like yeah I like that vibe. like it's mm -hmm. good to be like that in some situations mm -hmm. Um, in some situations. <laughs> you probably look so whack on camera yeah, yeah. with like concealer all over my face. Okay, next question. What's your favorite food? So this I think I so answered hard. this. This is so hard. Oh, like in terms of food, dessert counts too. So ice cream. <laughs> That's literally. Ice cream is favorite food? Yeah, I love okay, ice cream. Um, it's like, honestly, it's nuts. I like ice cream too, but like food, food wise, like real food, food wise. Food wise, probably I'm gonna have to say. Um, I love brown food, first of all. Yeah, for sure. That like, Sri Lankan like, is like my top cuisine, but next in line would definitely be Mexican food. Guys, yeah. burrito bowls, burritos, mucho burrito. Yeah. I'm like having like an obsession, especially through quarantine. Yeah. It's just, yeah, so yummy. So and I, I really yeah. like like wings and fries. Like, I don't know what category that really goes under, but like, just like a nice, like juicy wings and fries. I feel like I'm a pretty yeah, like, simple girl like when it comes to like, yeah, like pub food, I guess, is what you're going for. Yeah. Okay, next question. Um, Number seven. What do you like doing on your spare time? So, uh, we like going out with our friends, I would say, yeah. <laughs> quite often, um, especially since like patios are kind of a thing now. Um, and honestly, we like making content like while we do that. Like, yeah, you know, it's kind it's of both. Going out with their friends and making content because you know you can just shoot what's the thing? Shoot a content? No, shoot um two stones with no kill two kill, kill two, two birds with one stone. stone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that could go so long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like having fun at the same time as getting content. So yeah. like we can make TikToks and stuff like that. Make sure to follow us on TikTok. <laughs> We're almost at, at ten, 10 Euro. Yeah. Help us. We're on the road to 10, 10 thousand guys, yeah. so help us get there. Um, okay, what is your favorite clothing brand? Ooh. Many would say Fashion Nova, um, which it is, yeah. but I feel like we have like a couple. Like I really like Pretty Little Thing. Like yeah. all are probably like between Fashion Nova and Pretty Little Things, I feel like they're both pretty up there. We definitely do um, order way more from Fashion Nova, I would say. Yeah. But uh, we're trying new brands. Like I, I made a Shein haul. Um, Sheen, 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 how, how I, is however Sheen? you say it, like some people say Sheen. what it's called, other people say Shein, S-H-E-I-N, mm -hmm. um, I made like a huge order so that should be coming in, so I'm trying to like just like, you know, diverse a little and try different brands, but I, I think it's safe to say Fashion Nova, right? Like yeah. we're pretty obsessed with Fashion Nova slash pretty little thing. Yeah. Number nine, what do you like doing uh, most with your friends? I think like honestly, um, our friends and I, we have like the most fun when we honestly shoot videos too. Like I yeah. feel like everyone's personality comes out on camera and like 
we just have a lot of fun kind of like competing with each other for the games i'm sure you guys have seen them compete compete for who knows our youtube channel yeah. best and things like that so i would say creating content i would even say um like going away whether that's like niagara falls oh, or yeah. close summer far like we definitely like taking road trips and stuff like that like just take a weekend off and everyone gets together um, and does something like that or even like something as simple as like going to a restaurant like I love just catching up I love talking like I love movies too but I hate that you can't talk to your friends if you just watch the movie you know what I mean but I really like like talking with your friends and like eating and stuff like that so I definitely say restaurants mini trips making content is probably most of what we do and parties of course when that becomes a thing again you know birthday parties and stuff mm -hmm. um, but yeah was that um, okay 10 so what career path do you want to choose or I guess have chosen um, I guess for me it would definitely be uh, the legal field they definitely want to work but um, like work at a law firm and you know kind of go move up through that and also really pursue YouTube like definitely the creative side yeah, of ourselves yeah um, okay. same here like I guess like academic or work wise um, just like continue my master's and then go into my PhD in mm -hmm. psychology and then hopefully work something somewhere in that like realm of stuff and um, I guess like passion wise or hobby wise definitely YouTube uh, we do want to continue this for as long as we can um, and yeah I think we see it as a career path I guess in a couple years don't judge my eyeliner guys right now. Like I'm not even doing, half, doing this it. This is a very half natural. natural. This is like my so, everyday if I'm running like, out. I'm just like, trying to read these questions too. So <laughs> it's, it's a lot, you know? So where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, in five years, uh, definitely more um, have achieved most of our like YouTube goals. Mm -hmm. Like in a sense, like me and you definitely want to like push out so much of our content, like grow our network, collab with a lot of different vendors, different yeah. people who have the same passion. And I guess grow on all platforms. Yeah, so for sense. sure, for that. And then another five years, um, well, hopefully moving out, having my own house, <laughs> you know? Like me and Mila always yeah. talk about like, we would love to just like live in a condo together, just us two before like, you know, life becomes serious and like marriage becomes a thing. Cause like, we're only 23, there's a long time for that. But like, before like life gets like, serious, serious, we definitely want to like, lived together in um, a condo apartment, whatever it is, for like one or two years. I feel like that would be so much fun, especially with what we do, like with YouTube, it, like, it would help to just have our own space. Because um, I feel bad sometimes for my family because we're always like filming and we're like, guys, don't talk. Like, you know, it would just be nice to have like our own house where we do that and have friends over and all of that fun stuff. And I feel like you could really do that obviously before you like settle down. So yeah, I would say that. And I guess career-wise, I continue in law and psychology. Um, what's your favorite makeup brand? Uh, oh, that's hard. I would say, um, yeah, that is hard. I think we have like one of them. You know those ones where you start um, doing your eyeliner and you just get thicker <laughs> and thicker and thicker and then just gets wonkier and wonkier. Yeah, this is a very wonky. natural look, guys. I barely wear eyeliner. Like if I have lashes on, then like just to cover the glue, I'll do it. But we're not even doing lashes today. This is a very Natural. I just, you know, you know, just, just went in and a wing. wing, and you know when you go into does it work out? There's no going back. So, so annoying. Now after so seeing yours, I'm like, I'm not even gonna try. God, <laughs> does that even remember the last time I winged? I Only the makeup gods can help me right now. Okay. Yeah. Don't judge my makeup skills, guys. It ain't that great today. Um, we're not muhas, as you can tell. Okay, I would say Kat Von D because the eyeliner I'm really using now is great, even if I can't do it properly. <laughs> the eyeliner I'm using right now is the Tattoo Lo Lanner. Tattoo liner, liner by Kat Von D, and I would say that's who I'm really obsessed with. My I family, don't you? know, like, I use a bit of everything a lot from the Sephora brand. My concealer is like, what is this, Born This Way, Fenty is my lip gloss. And see, I, I'm sorry, I can't choose. I'm just gonna say all of them. <laughs> the Sephora store, there. the Sephora store, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, what is your favorite movie and what's your favorite restaurant? So, my favorite movie, that's so hard, oh my gosh, any of the Nicholas Sparks movies, I would say, like, I'm a very, like, romantic comedy type of girl, and I think Neil's the same. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite movie is The Other End of the Line. Oh, and that, yeah, that's a really good one, it's another romantic comedy. And then our favorite restaurant, I feel like we're always at, like, Jack's, I'm gonna say, like, I feel like that's, like, the number one restaurant we're always at. But I definitely like more than that. Like I know you tried pie in downtown. Oh guys, um, yeah. I've never had two have times. Not tried. The two times I went, they were like closed, and then COVID happened. So yeah, I would definitely say like Mexican food, Tamil food. 
yeah. anything around that category. So what's your dream car and your dream travel destination? So dream what's your car, dream car? White Beamer with brown interior. Wow, very, <laughs> very specific. Yeah. That's what I want. I would say I definitely want like a big bad car. <laughs> Your one's that like, makes sense. Like, like, you know, like a rolling in and like matching your car, like you know. I straight I, up want a great G wagon with yeah. like really nice interior. I don't even know. What yeah, I want like a big bad car. You know what I mean? And like, uh, what's the what's the one that we always talk about? Like a Wrangler or um like what you said a G wagon? Mm -hmm. Like I don't know what specifically, but like yeah. If it was a car, I would probably do like a Benz because I, I really like I'm a car. So yeah, I would probably say one of those. And dream destination, there's so much. Oh my god, L A. Is probably number one on our top. list of places to go. When it's it's like, I think it's first on our list. Like cool. that would be the next yeah. trip we do. Yeah. LA would definitely be the next trip. Also Miami. LA and Miami are pretty up there. Um, definitely do a Europe trip and Bali. Like I feel like like that section is just like so pretty and like the pictures and oh my god. And Europe eventually. Yeah. Probably named like everything by now, but it's okay. What is your least favorite thing about yourself? Wow, we got so deep all of a sudden. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I guess. Like to put it in one word, just like self doubt. I feel like a lot of people yeah. do this a lot. Um, just like not having conf confidence, confidence in yourself, right? exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like just in like every realm, like career, school wise, uh, like looks, personality, YouTube, everything. A lot of people have self doubt, and yeah. I feel like I definitely struggle with that. So. Yeah. I would say the same thing. Um, I'm always doubting myself. Like, yeah. it's me and you are the same in that like category. I guess you could say like we're always like, like I don't know. I feel like people come up to us and they're like, oh, I thought you like you guys were so confident. And I'm like, not really. Like, like if you like, if not you know at us, all. you're like not at all. Like we're always like, oh my god, I don't look good. Like you know, we're always like, or you're always kind of nitpicking at your tiny little exactly. versions of flaws. Even if like people don't have flaws, but you know, we do that to ourselves. We kind of just think we do, and then we internalize it and. All, that, all stuff. that stuff. So definitely self doubt. What's um, your favorite? No, no. Do you wear glasses or contacts? Oh, yes, we yeah. do. Yes, we are pretty high up, I guess. I am not gonna share my side. <laughs> okay. The precision sad number is number. just that, but let's just say but we we wear contacts like twenty four seven, if not glasses. Mm -hmm. So and yeah. soon, hopefully, we're not. And soon, we're hoping to we do, do really want to do laser, laser, laser yeah, exactly. uh, because I'm, I want to see the world as it is and not through my glasses or contacts. So. Yeah, and my brother did laser and like it was successful and he really like they changed his whole life. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do the same thing. So um what's your favorite season? Um okay. summer. Summer, definitely. Um also fall but summer. It's um, summer then fall. And yeah. then fall, yeah, but definitely summer. First. Winter's definitely last. No, that's last. Spring is like third, I would say. And then do you have any tattoos or piercings? So I have a nose piercing, I have my first pierced, I have my second pierced, and then on my left side I have my cartilage. Um, so what is that? Two, four, five, six. I have six piercings. I have two. Yeah, she just <laughs> I have my <laughs> nose ring and then my ears. Just one on my ears. I didn't actually go for it and do any more on my ears. Yeah, actually, do we have any tattoos? No, we do not. But maybe in the maybe future. In the near future. We near, will. near, 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 near future. Yeah, yeah. very near future. Just wait on to see which twin is getting a tattoo tag. Well, comment down below who you think it is, too. Yeah, that'll be funny. I know you guys think I'm a scaredy cat and Nero. I know you guys know it's not really a scaredy cat, but comment down below, guys. Don't give them hints. I'm not, sorry. Name some things on your bucket list. Okay, these are like, we're down to more five more questions. So yeah. one thing on my bucket list is definitely growing huge on, well, okay, that's not really a bucket list thing, right? Growing huge on YouTube. Maybe um, okay. like, but yeah, but like, like the trip, I'm talking about the trip. Yeah, like we like, always wanted to yeah. travel because yeah. of YouTube, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like get a like brand. a brand to reach out to us and be able to travel with other influencers yeah. and just like, you know, just Obviously like that's a big goal. But yeah, like, I know. But go harder, go home. That's yeah. what we were literally talking about. As like bucket list items aside from like work and like school and stuff, I would say is like traveling 100%, especially after COVID. Like I feel like everyone had a lot of summer plans and then obviously things got canceled. It's not going to be, I don't even know by next year if it's traveling is going to be a thing. Mm -hmm. But um, if it is, then definitely traveling. Um, what else? That's like, it. Traveling. Go bungee jumping, like random things. Like I feel like, would you go bungee jumping ever? I feel like she wouldn't. I want to go skydiving once, but I don't know if I'm going to build a bungee Yeah, bungee like skydiving, bungee jumping. Well, technically I went bungee jumping on Wonderland. I don't know if that counts, but um, <laughs> so not that I want to go like skydiving, like do the go all in, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, and what's the next one? What sign are you? So we're Aries. So we're Aries. I think we actually revealed that one of the other videos. videos. Yeah. If you were to rewatch a TV series, which one would it be? Okay, so honestly, I loved 
Pretty Little Liars, and I think Nero did too. Yeah. I actually rewatched it, so. Oh, you did? Yeah. The whole thing. No, I think I stopped. Like, sorry, um, I think I stopped like before I finished, but okay. I was pretty close to yeah. the end. Um, I think I, what else did I rewatch? Vampire Diaries, and I kind of stopped. Like, I usually rewatch it and like eventually stop and like a movie comes out or something. Um, but yeah, definitely PLT. Um, PLT and, would be the top of my Yeah, PLT, Vampire Diaries, probably one of those. Are you, I mean, it's PLL Ox. Oh, Ox. PLT is the clothing brand. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you have a passion for something? If so, what is it? How did you get into this? So honestly, YouTube, yeah, that's our that's our one passion, passion I would yeah. say. We started last uh, summer, I believe it was June 2019, and we got into it because honestly, we were inspired by a lot of other LA YouTubers that we would watch. We'd watch Nikki and Gabby, that's definitely at the top of our list. We've kind of watched that whole friend group, like Alicia Murray, Sierra Furtado, Nikki Cruz, uh, no, Remy Cruz, who else? Uh, Lauren. Lauren. Uh, Lauren like DIY and also Lauren Gerald though we even people started in our industry like in the Tamil community like we watch a lot of beauty gurus yeah like Hamali yeah Hamali um who else like Limitless, Limitless. there's so yeah. many Durka Durka yeah. love all of you guys yeah love all yeah. you guys <laughs> watching this so we honestly just got inspired we wanted to create our own content we knew like our family would be very supportive and just like hop on all the videos and you know I think we have a pretty entertaining family like yeah. let's be honest <laughs> their our great. videos are only fun when we're filming yeah them. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so we know this guys are the videos that we do together are like mediocre But like the ones when we get our family in it, I know that's where the it's where the spice yeah, Everyone just likes seeing family. Yeah, and I enjoy filming those ones more too. Like yeah, more fun um, Last question three things that make me happy Ooh. food yeah, food. <laughs> food, family and friends I kinda, I feel like that's And family together traveling. and honestly just like um traveling. Yeah, for you like books. Books make me really happy. Yeah. I really like music. Reading. Okay, that's way more than three, but yeah. you get the idea. Okay, do you want to do the final? Yeah. Are you ready? Actually, you have to share my settings spray with you. Oh, okay, I think we can have like a dramatic moment, like a ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, sorry, no. No, okay, not today. You forgot everything? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and then you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my favorite part. <laughs> We actually have plans after this. Okay. Yeah, we ain't um, going nowhere. Maybe we just have to wipe us off, but that's about it. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications on so you'll be notified every time we upload. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in to Mo and Twins. Bye, guys. <laughs>